Have you ever received an invitation that sent chills down your spine? Sleepovers. We've all been there. A night filled with laughter, secrets shared in hushed whispers, and the occasional popcorn fight. They're the stuff of childhood memories, innocent and fun. But what happens when one invitation stands out from the rest? Not because it promises more fun, but because it promises something different. That's what happened one chilly autumn evening. An invitation arrived. Not your typical, come over for a sleepover kind. No, it was different. The words seemed to crawl off the page, each sentence more unsettling than the last. The promise of an unforgettable night was there, but the undercurrent of unease was too. The invitation didn't just evoke curiosity, it stirred up a whirlwind of anxiety and fear, and yet, despite the ominous undertones, the invitees couldn't resist the allure of the unknown. Little did they know, this sleepover was going to be anything but ordinary. As they stepped into the house, the feeling of unease grew. The house, standing ominously at the end of a forgotten lane, was a relic of a bygone era. Its once grand facade was now marred by time, the paint peeling off like a grotesque skin, the windows staring blankly like hollow eyes. The iron gate creaked open, a chilling welcome, as if the house itself was drawing them into its dark embrace. The host, a peculiar character with an unsettling smile, greeted them. His eyes shone with a strange light, almost feverish, as he ushered them into the house. He wore a mask of hospitality, but there was something about his demeanor that set their nerves on edge. His laughter echoed through the empty halls, a sound that seemed too loud, too harsh in the eerie silence. The house was filled with an uncanny stillness, broken only by the occasional creaking of the old wooden floorboards, or the soft whistling of the wind through the cracks. The flickering shadows cast by the dim light danced on the walls, creating monstrous shapes that seemed to come alive in the corner of their eyes. The air was heavy with a scent of decay, a tactile reminder of the house's age. It was as if the walls themselves were whispering tales of forgotten times, of secrets buried deep within its foundation. As they moved deeper into the house, the sense of discomfort among the guests grew. They exchanged glances, their smiles strained, their laughter forced. Yet they chose to ignore the goosebumps prickling their skin, the shivers crawling up their spines. The house was a labyrinth of long corridors and winding staircases, each turn leading to another mystery. Every closed door held the promise of a hidden dread, every dark corner a potential threat. The house was a living, breathing entity watching them, waiting. But deciding to brush off their fears, they ventured further into the house. The game started innocently enough, but soon things began to change. As dusk turned to darkness, the group of friends found themselves gathered around, their faces lit up by the faint glow of candles. They began with the usual sleepover suspects. Truth or dare, never have I ever, and the like. Laughter filled the room, echoing off the walls, innocent and carefree. But as the night wore on, the atmosphere began to shift. The games grew stranger, the dares became more daring, the truths more unsettling. A simple game of card turned into a twisted version of itself, with cards disappearing and reappearing in impossible places. The laughter began to wane, replaced by a growing sense of unease. The room was filled with whispers of confusion. Why was the pack of cards one short, and why was it always the queen of spades that went missing? Why did the flashlight flicker and die during the scariest part of a ghost story, only to come back to life as soon as the tale ended? The uncanny glitches were not lost on the group. Each strange occurrence chipped away at their comfort, their security. Their once familiar surroundings seemed to contort in the candlelight, becoming alien and hostile. The room, once filled with the warmth of friendship, was now cold with fear. As the night stretched on, the games became a battleground of nerves. Every roll of the dice, every flick of a card, was laced with anticipation. The once harmless games now seemed like a dance with the unknown, a flirtation with danger. Every laugh was tinged with nervousness, every smile a little too strained. The air grew thick with tension. The once carefree group was now on edge, their eyes darting around the room, their laughter replaced by a silence that spoke volumes. The games once a source of joy had morphed into something sinister. Suddenly, the harmless games didn't seem so harmless anymore. As the night grew darker, so did the secrets that were unveiled. The joviality of the sleepover had given way to a chilling dread, a palpable fear that clung to each guest like a second skin. The house, once a beacon of warmth and friendship, had transformed into a labyrinth of terror. Hidden beneath the veneer of a typical suburban home were truths too grotesque to believe. 
The host, their trusted friend, was not who they thought. Beneath the pleasant exterior, there lurked a darkness, a fascination with the macabre that went beyond innocent curiosity. This was no mere hobby, it was an obsession. Their friend, the orchestrator of this sleepover, had been collecting newspaper clippings of unsolved disappearances in the area, of eerie happenings that had no logical explanation. The house too, had its share of bone-chilling secrets. The guests discovered a concealed room, a forbidden space filled with peculiar artifacts and cryptic symbols, a shrine to the inexplicably strange and the downright terrifying, and the most horrifying discovery of all, the house had once been the site of a gruesome tragedy, a crime so heinous it was wiped from the town's records. One by one the guests stumbled upon these truths, each revelation more unsettling than the last. Their disbelief turned into terror, their trust into suspicion. The atmosphere of the house had shifted drastically, and the once merry chatter had been replaced by a deafening silence. The harmless sleepover had morphed into a dreadful ordeal, a chilling encounter with the unknown. The guests were trapped in their own fear, their minds racing, their hearts pounding. They had come for a sleepover, for a night of fun and games. Instead, they were caught in a web of horrifying revelations, a chilling narrative that was unfolding right before their eyes. The laughter had died down, the smiles had faded, and all that remained was a sense of impending doom. Their sleepover had turned into a nightmare they couldn't wake up from. With their hearts pounding they knew they had to escape. The air was thick with the bitter taste of fear, a palpable dread that clung to them as they began their desperate bid for freedom. The once jovial sleepover had turned into a living nightmare, a terror-filled labyrinth that twisted and turned with every step they took. The house was alive with an eerie silence that was more deafening than any scream. Every creak of the floorboards, every rustle of the curtains, every howl of the wind outside was magnified a thousand times, echoing the pounding of their frantic hearts. The darkness was an unrelenting opponent, hiding the unknown and obscuring their path to safety. They stumbled in the pitch black, guided by the desperate need to escape. The fear was a wild, untamed beast, gnawing at their courage, threatening to consume them whole. It was a hide-and-seek game with the highest stakes, one they couldn't afford to lose. Every closed door seemed like a monstrous barrier, every locked window a cruel prison. The house, once a sanctuary of laughter and innocent games, had transformed into an unforgiving maze of terror. Each room held a new surprise, a fresh horror that choked their breaths and quickened their pulses. Their hands shook as they tried to unlock doors, their breaths hitched as they listened for any sign of the unspeakable horror that lurked in the shadows. Every second was an eternity, every minute a lifetime of dread. In their panic they stumbled upon the back door, their gateway to freedom. With trembling hands and held breaths, they pushed it open, the chilling night air washing over them like a sweet release. The darkness outside was a welcomed friend, a beacon of hope in their terror-stricken night, and then, they were free. They ran, their feet barely touching the ground, their hearts pounding in their chests, their breaths coming out in ragged pants. They didn't look back, the night swallowing them whole, their fear propelling them forward. They left behind not just a house, but a night of terror that would haunt them forever. In the light of day, the horrors of the night seemed almost unreal. The survivors found themselves questioning if the terrifying events of the sleepover were merely figments of their imagination or a dreadful reality they had lived through. Each survivor bore the weight of the night's terror in their hearts. It was a burden that transformed their youthful innocence into a haunting memory that would linger for a lifetime. Sleepovers, once a symbol of camaraderie and innocent fun, had become a bitter reminder of the night that had nearly cost them their lives. The emotional scars ran deep, affecting their trust in the familiar and making them wary of the unknown. They found themselves flinching at shadows, jumping at the slightest noises forever on edge. Sleepovers were no longer invitations to laughter and shared secrets but a chilling reminder of the horror they had faced. And so, they learned the hard way that not all sleepovers are filled with fun and games, some are filled with nightmares instead. 